Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane and this is our coin to swap. We've got some big news in the space of Terra, Terra Luna. So for everyone out there who's holding Terra Luna or for anyone out there who's thinking of purchasing Terra Luna token, there is big news and it's really good in the crypto space right now. So we're going to go through all the list of reasons why Terra is one of the best coins to keep an eye on this year. You definitely want to keep this coin on your watch list. Now, before we continue with this video, allow me to declare that it's not financial advice. It's strictly for educational purposes. So in big news, Terra Luna token sale raises 1 billion for Bitcoin reserve. So this includes Jump Crypto and 3 Hour Capital. They've just bought a lot of Terra tokens. And this is big because this is a, and this is huge because this is like a $1 billion in investment for Terra. The Luna Foundation Guard a non-profit organization linked to Terra claim it has raised $1 billion in a private token sale. It says the money will be used for a UST Forex reserve dominated in Bitcoin. UST is a stable coin that uses Terra Luna to maintain its peg. So that's quite interesting actually. So for anyone who didn't know, this is Terra USD token. This is the stable coin itself. So it's currently just holding its value at $1. This stablecoin is directly using Terra Luna to maintain its peg. That's why it makes it so cool. But it's quite exciting for Terra right now because it's currently sitting at $63.20. Now, this is a crypto that does not have a small supply. There's 382 million in circulating supply alone. And the max supply or the total supply is like 796 million. So yeah, the supply is definitely not low by any means. The 24 hours trade on volume is going absolutely parabolical. It's up by 97% in the last 24 hours. It's up by almost 100%, which is really incredible for any crypto right now because the entire market is just going down. The entire market is just in red, complete red. And Terra is one of the few that is doing extremely well right now. And this is why we're talking about it. But we really want to understand why is Terra a good coin to hold this year in 2022? Trading volumes is up by 5.9 billion US dollars in trading volume. If that doesn't surprise you, I don't know what will. But that's not just the only big thing because obviously during the last seven days alone, this coin was just as low as $47 and now it's $63. But when you take a further look back a month ago, the price was just around the same place, around $62. But within that month, you'll actually realize it's been extremely volatile and it's been extremely cheap at certain points. In fact, at the end of January, it was around $43 US per coin. Given where it is right now, that was one of the best buying price for a lot of people. And they utilized on that opportunity. They did not wait where will Terra go this year? Will it be above $100 once again? Because let's not forget, at the end of December last year, Terra Luna was above $120. That was incredible. And let me assure you, the trading period that it has right now is much bigger than it was back at the end of December. The end of December trading volume was just around $2.5 It's over $5 billion right now. There's a lot of money going in and out of Terra Luna and there's good reasons why. So we're going to go for a price analysis and a price prediction. But now let's just continue with the information that we've been given. So there's been a lot of money floating into the crypto space recently with 100 million plus funding rounds becoming relatively commonplace. But a recent over counter token sale is taking it to another level. Terra and the Luna Foundation Guard LFG, a non-profit organization designed to support the Terra network, today announced a 1 billion token sale at Luna led by 3 Hour Capital. This is headed by sometime Ethereum critic and Jump Crypto, the same trading group that made Solana cross-chain bridge whole after a 320 million hack. Now the foundation did not respond to Decrypt's question about the specifications of the raise, including whether the funds were raised directly into Bitcoin. Given the market downturn, the value of the raise could be less than 1 billion, depending on when the raise occurred. And that's correct. That's a good point. When they got this money, do they want this money in Terra Luna or do they want this money in Bitcoin? Because it's really interesting. If you put this money in Terra Luna, well, you got to understand the best that Terra Luna can probably do in the next coming months is hit $100 again. That's the best. But it's still quite unlikely. It's really unlikely that it will do that. It's more likely that it'll probably do $75, maybe $80 at the most in the next three to five or six months. 
Bitcoin, on the other hand, is one thing that can do whatever it wants. Bitcoin can easily hit 60 grand once again, 70 grand once again, no problem. So when they're receiving this money, they have to consider, do we want this money in Bitcoin, which is probably going to make us more money in a shorter period of time? Or should we put this money in our own cryptocurrency, but it will make us less money in a short period of time? So most likely they have put this money in Bitcoin, which is what a lot of people are suggesting. Now for the Luna Foundation, we'll use the funds to create what is called a UST Forex Reserve. To understand why, you have to understand a bit about the Terra ecosystem, which includes both the native Luna token and fiat-based stablecoins. Terra Luna isn't backed by greenbacks, but instead it's tied to Luna. Whenever someone mints UST, they must burn Luna. A whole tokenomic structure is designed to keep the price steady. If the price says UST dips below $1, users can purchase that UST at a discount and trade it for $1 worth of Luna. The arbitrage play means that the UST gets burnt, helping bring the stablecoin price back to normal essentially reducing its supply, keeping it stable at just around a dollar. But stable coins not backed by fiat have lost their pegs before when the algorithm haven't matched up with the short term needs of traders, as was arguably the case for Iron Finance last June. So one of the common criticism of algorithmic stablecoins is that their reflexive nature during the extreme volatility where the Alberta Ridge incentivized to bring the peg back to parity can potentially deteriorate. The UST Forex Reserve provides an additional avenue to maintain the stability of the peg contractionary cycles that reduce the reflexities of the systems. The Terra Luna protocol is leading the centralization and open source public blockchain protocol for algorithmic stablecoins using a combination of open market, Alberta rates, sense incentives and decentralized oracle voting. The Terra protocol creates stablecoins that consistently tracks the price of any fiat currency. Users can spend, save, trade or exchange Terra stablecoins instantly, all on the Terra blockchain. Luna provides its holders with stake and rewards and governance power. So the Terra ecosystem is quickly expanding network of decentralized application and creating a stable demand for Terra and increasing the price of Luna. That ladies and gents is Terra Luna, Terra protocol in the most simplest term. But let's get back to our price analysis. The real question is, what can we do today? I know I've said before that Terra Luna most realistically can get back to 75 US dollars. I think $70 is a given at the moment. I'm looking forward to that, but 75 US dollars to even 80 US dollars is a little bit far-fetched considering what the market is doing right now. You have to consider that the market is not doing particularly well right now. You look at some of the top cryptos, they're all in red. They're all going down except for Terra. So if we have a look at Terra from, from June last year, when there was the huge crash in crypto, well, I wouldn't say huge crash, like 2022 was a huge crash, but last year, June and July was a big crash as well. Since then, Terra has been in an upward trajectory. Now, the problem is since it hit $100, it's been going down ever since. And this is probably one of the second time that we've seen significant turnaround from Terra, which is really good, by the way. When I say significant turnaround, look at these points that I'm drawing up on the screen for you right now. The first realistic turnaround was just around the 7th of January towards the 15th of January. And now the second turnaround is just around right now when we're talking the 24th of, of February. There's a huge turnaround. There's a huge upswing in the price, which is good. Now, my mark, my prediction is that it's going to be somewhere around $75 to $80, which means that it's going to get back to where it was in January, mid-January. That's my prediction for the next couple of weeks, for the next month. It's quite unpredictable, but ultimately, that's probably a good thing for Terra Luna. At any moment, it could also go back down in price. We have to keep that into consideration. During the durations of February, it was mostly consolidating. A little bit of up and down swings, but it was mostly consolidating around $50 to $58 or $59. It was mostly consolidating around that part. And what we noticed during that phase is that we got an M, which is a good look. That's a good look for us because we haven't seen that in a while in Terra. We haven't seen that in a while. That's a really good look. And that usually tells us that there's momentum that's building up for the price to go up to an even further demand. And that's exactly what's going on right now. So all of this should not be too surprising, but I'm interested to see where the price of Terra does go in the future. And I'm interested to see how this news affects the Terra ecosystem. 
it's good to look forward to. But interesting to note is that Anchor protocol is also being affected by the huge price swing. And that's what I'll be talking about next, Anchor protocol. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to see more. Check out the other videos on my channel. Leave a comment and let's have a discussion. I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.